question. Uh, we have no basic agenda. <coughs> ICRP has no basic agenda, uh, no basic objectives with regard to uh, the situation here in, in, in Fukushima. I think there is a difficult situation since March 2011 um, because of the position of ICRP as a key organization uh, in the field of radiological protection. Um, we felt that it was the place for ICRP to follow carefully what's going on here in uh, Fukushima and also uh, having the experience of uh, Chernobyl in the past, uh, we know what are the difficulties for um, people and also for a country which is affected by a nuclear accident and uh, we decided to, uh, to be present and to uh, give our support. The interest for ICRP is to be here in Fukushima and not having meetings in, in, in Tokyo. You know, this is here the place where we, we can meet people, where we can understand what are the concerns, where we have also um, first-hand information about what's going on. And um, I would say that the past uh, you know, the, our cooperation is like a path which is constructed as, as we go on together. And um, uh, after a while, we decided to develop this initiative, the, the dialogue initiative. Uh, later on, now we are working on updating um, our uh, publications. And um, we are really um, pleased to, do, to be able to do that in this environment with the support of uh, Fukushima Medical University. And any time we come, we bring also, um, if we can bring some help, we do it. So you see it? Uh, no, because um, the ethos, I was involved in the ethos project, but at that time as a professional, not as an ICRP member. And uh, ICRP is not developing projects. You know, ICRP is developing recommendations based on uh, scienti the scientific uh, um, literature, <coughs> on, 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 on the experience, past experience of um, in many different uh, domains, and uh, there is absolutely no intention for ICRP to do a, pro a project. That's the first point. And I would say that um, <coughs> There is no need for such uh, to design a project like ETHOS because I think, the, the, if I may say, uh, the, the, the ETHOS spirit is already embarked by, by many communities in, in, in Fukushima. And uh, they don't need, uh, I mean, they need support from experts and so on, but uh, they don't need to have a formal project uh, and with uh, ICRP behind this project. They, this is, this is, I would say that the ethos project has already, the ethos spirit has already started in Fukushima. What we could do is, what we do, in fact, is that we, we facilitate uh, the, the dynamic of uh, rec the recovery using the past experience, and particularly what happened in Belarus. We invited, we invited several times Belarus colleagues to come and, 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 and present their experience. And I think this is a role that we can do, is to facilitating this exchange of experience. But beyond that, we are not in a position to develop any specific projects on, on behalf of ICRP. I was trained as an economist when I was <coughs> a long, long time ago. <laughs> and uh, uh, after uh, beginning my career as, as a professor, in high schools, I, I had the opportunity to, to join a group which was just formed, uh, created, to um, working on radiation protection uh, to implement uh, what was a new recommendation at that time from ICRP uh, about uh, the, optimization, the optimization principle, reducing exposures as low as reasonable, reasonably achievable. And I uh, was joining this group to, to serve as an economist in, in, this, in, this, uh, in this group. And then I learned 
I had my second part of my career where I started to learn radiation protection with colleagues, engineers, and scientists. And um, my main uh, contribution in radiation protection has been the development of uh, uh, the optimization principle and how to implement this, this uh, principle uh, concretely, practically, um, on a day-to-day -day basis. And I joined ICRP um, in uh, the late uh, 90s because of my experience with uh, this optimization principle and uh, um, that's why that's my, my main contribution in, uh, in radiation protection. But I have to say, if I may, that the turning point in my career was, in fact, the Chernobyl accident, because uh, in 1990, I have been invited by the European Commission to uh, participate to um, an international project to evaluate the consequences of the Chernobyl accident in that time it was still the Soviet Union, and I discovered, I could say, I discovered the situation of Chernobyl in 1990, summer 1990. And since that time, I have devoted a large part of my time and large part of my thinking to, 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 this, uh, situ to the Chernobyl situation. And of course, when uh, Fukushima happened, uh, many people turned to me because of my experience with, with uh, Chernobyl.